Hello guys, welcome to Straight From The Horse's Mouth. My name is Chris Fallis and I've been looking at the racing for Wednesday. So, no messing around, we're going to get straight into this. Uh, first of all, we're going to talk about the 150 at Goodwood. Now, for this one, I'm recommending a small each way bet um, on this Marlin 2 Furlong Class 2 Handicap for four year olds plus. Now, it's quite a big field and William Hill are offering a fifth of the odds for the first six places. On this basis, I think Victory Trime looks like a bit of good each way value for a small each way bet at 28 to 1 with William Hill. Um, this six year old has 8 from 18 record at the distance, which is 44%, um, including once this season when he won the Class 2 handicap at Epsom on good ground. He can handle soft ground and good ground too. His trainer is banging form with 8 from 30 in the last 14 days, which is 27%. So, in 150 at um, Goodwood, I am um, recommending uh, Victory Chime each way, 28 to 1. A fifth of the odds for the first six with William Hill. Of course, we're probably going for the each way money rather than the win money, but it's still not a bad bet, you know? So, um, I'm going to put that on the board. Yes, I have a board. Amazing. Well, I still need to attach it properly, though, and... Uh, you're going to get to laugh at my writing now, so let's do this. The 150. Sensational, eh? Loving that. So, um, the next one is the T15 Yarmouth. Um, so, it's a mile and six, class five handicap, uh, three hours plus for horses rated zero to 75. Um, the Sir Marco Pre Prescott trained a summer's night, looks a good bet. Um, this girl's doing looks good at the weights. Sir Mark has a nine from 33, which is 27% record on turf with his three year olds this season. And summer's night has won twice for him already. Um, so that's summer's night, 13 to eight at Yarmouth. So 215 at Yarmouth. Our current price is 11 to eight. That price has actually been backed in since I started this article. That's summer's night. Okay, so the next one, three o'clock Goodwood, um, seven furlong group two, it's the Lennox Stakes for three year olds plus. Um, I'm really sweet on Charlie Appleby's creative force. I absolutely love this animal. Um, this girl's in would be hard to beat carrying eight stone ten. Um, he is extremely talented, winning from his last, sorry, winning four from his last five, including a six furlong listed race, uh, one on good to soft, and the seven furlong group three race, one on soft. Um, he certainly was not disgraced uh, when finishing two lengths behind Starman in the fast group one at Newmarket last time. So that's creative force, five to two. Now, this one's actually been backed in since I started the article as well. And price is currently uh, five to two. And creative force is my nap. So, one more to go. The next one I like is in the 335. And it's one we're all really looking forward to. And um, it's the two mile group on Goodwood Cup for three years plus. Now, I am, a, before we get started, I am a massive Stradivarius fan. Okay, I think he's absolutely brilliant. Um, I think he's one of the stars of the last few years. However, and it pains me to say, um, on the basis Stradivarius prefers fast cranes and that he's potentially declining now, I've picked Trushan uh, to win this. Um, Holly Doyle 
is rising and there's one 9 from 47 in the last 14 days which is 19 percent and uh, Trishan would definitely get the trip uh, when he came second at Chester in a group two giving him five pounds to Japan the race was on good soft and he only lost by um, three quarters of a length so Trishan nine to four so just going to pop that on there and that's the 335 uh, Trishan is currently nine to four um, again, another animal which has been backed in since it started. True Shen. Okay, so here we have my bets. Just to recap, a small each way bet on victory time. Uh, using William Hill, or as I say, uh, William Hill is currently a fifth of the odds for the first five. So not really expecting a win, just expecting the each way money. Um, next one, 215 Yelmouth, 11 to 8, summer's night, looks really nice bet there. Uh, three o'clock Goodwood, creative force, my nap of the day, uh, currently five to two, and 335 Trushan to beat Stradivarius. So I don't know whether you guys agree or not, but at the end of the day, make sure you bet on the horse that you want to bet on. Um, my my last selection, um, which I put on for um, Sunday's racing, I think it was, um, actually came second by three quarters of a length, and that was Ross Colin. And um, I've put the video actually onto Twitter so people can see the run. Okay, so I wish everybody the best of luck, and. It's been fun working at these. I love a bit of Goodwood. Just check there's nothing I've actually missed. And uh, yeah, nothing at all. So thank you very much for watching. Best of luck. Um, if you like this video, then please press the like button. If you dislike this video, then please press the dislike button. Um, subscribe, ring that bell so I come up on your feed to give you wonderful tips and features. And um, yeah, thanks very much guys. Stay lucky. Thank <laughs> you.